Hey guys, this is Mike from thegadgetsite.com, and today I just have a little demonstration of a new feature in iOS 5. Now this is an accessibility feature, but it kind of hints that Apple is planning to create a buttonless iOS device. So let's just take a look at it. It's this little orb that you see right here in the lower right corner. It can actually be moved around uh, to any of the corners of the screen. But basically, it can take care of uh, functions that you would normally need a physical button for. So if we just tap on it, I'll actually go back. This is uh, what it looks like. This is kind of like the home screen for the orb. And uh, first of all, you see there's a home button here. So if I were to go to an application, open up the orb, and tap home, that acts as my home button right there. Um, now on the iPad, uh, we have the gesture that you can uh, pinch inwards with four or five fingers to close applications, but uh, this could actually be something for closing applications on the iPod Touch and iPhone because uh, pitching with those fingers is kind of hard on a small screen. Uh, however, it is kind of a tedious to, whenever you're in an application, to have to tap the orb and then tap home. And then also uh, double tapping the home will bring up your multitasking bar just like the physical button. Now next, uh, there's some device settings here. And as you can see, uh, this the user interface for this is really buggy right now. Um, the, or the icons are kind of overlapping each other. Uh, but I can still show you uh, what they do. So there's a lock screen function where I tap on it. It does what it says, it locks the screen. However, there is no uh, way of unlocking the screen without either uh, pressing the home button or the sleep wake button. So. I don't know what they're going to do there. Maybe uh, we'll have something like we see on the a playbook or the touchpad where you could just swipe uh, from the screen. Like we'll have a capacitive sides. So if you swipe in, uh, it'll unlock. But next we have volume up and down. And then uh, this one, shake, will simulate you shaking the device. And then you can also rotate the screen. So I'll go into an application, Safari, to demonstrate that. So if I rotate screen, uh, I can rotate, I can make it portrait like it is now. I'll rotate it left, right, or make it upside down. And this is just another example that the user interface is really bad right now, uh, because right now the box didn't really move. It just rotated, uh, so it's getting cropped off of the screen. But and that's the rotate function and if you just tap in the center on any of these screens it'll bring you back to the previous screen and then uh, here we have gestures so this uh, simulates using more than one finger on the screen so if I tap three I can move around the three fingers here with just one finger I can simulate what I want to do so right now I'm moving around uh, the window I can also go to uh, favorites and there's a pinch feature so I can kind of do like a pinch to zoom thing like I said it's really buggy right now there you could get it working a bit so uh, that's pinch to zoom with one finger and then uh, you can also save uh, different gestures to complete so if you're in a certain game or something that requires a certain gesture, you could real quickly uh, save that gesture. You could cut, like make a video recording or whatever of it, and then save it in one of these boxes. And then you could just tap on it uh, from this orb, and then it'll complete it without you doing a thing, without you touching the screen at all. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, really nice accessibility features there. And I'm sure uh, one day we're going to see a buttonless device that uh, some of this is going to be implemented right inside iOS and uh, it's not going to be an accessibility feature any anymore. It's going to be right there for everyone, uh, such as the home button and the uh, lock screen. So that is uh, iOS 5 Beta 3. Uh, if you have that, it's uh, right in the accessibility menu. It's called Assistive Touch. Just turn that on and then you'll see the little magical orb of uh, various options. So, again, this is Mike Benarski with GadgetSite.com.